Hi students and welcome to the instructional video on how to take skin fold measurements. Keep in mind that with our skin folds, not many health club and fitness centres do take skin folds anymore, but they are still, or it still is an important skill to have as a fitness instructor and a personal trainer. We use these particular type of skin fold calipers uh, for here at CIT. Uh, these are the better brand of skin fold calipers and they simply work on the basis that as you open up the calipers wider, the needle on the actual display here moves around and the thickness of the actual skin fold is measured in mils or millimetres. As you go around and once it does one loop that's 20 mils and it continues to go around and increases up 20 mils for every rotation that you go ahead and do. We're going to go through a number of skin fold measurements today. The main ones being the bicep and tricep, the subscapula, the superiliac, the mid thigh and the calf and the mid abdominal. What we'll go through first is the bicep and tricep. Now with the bicep and tricep, we take all our skin fold measurements on the right hand side of our clients. There is no need to do it on the left and right hand side. All the normative data is based on taking one skin fold measure on the right hand side. Since we have a measurement here from when we're taking Simon's girth measurements, we've got a midpoint. So it's the same midpoint that we're actually using when we go ahead and do our upper arm girth measurements. So we simply measure the difference between the acromion and the electrolong frossa down the bottom here on the elbow, and this is the midpoint. Now, that's the midpoint for the upper arm. What we simply want to do now is rule a line across, <coughs> across from here to the actual bicep. So we'll get someone just to go to the anatomical position, so the palm facing out. And all we're simply going to do here is take the line across and make an actual cross along the front there on the bicep muscle. We're also going to take a similar line across the back and make a mark on the triceps. Now once we've made those two marks, for the bicep, we want to ensure that when we take the bicep, so I'm going to just get you to turn this way, we want to make sure that when we take the actual bicep, we take a parallel fold or parallel or a vertical fold that's in line with the actual bicep muscle. So where that, skip, where that actual mark we've made, we simply go ahead, pinch the skin. Now making sure that when you pinch the skin you don't grab um, the actual muscle at the same time. It's fairly easy to differentiate between grabbing skin and the layer of fat underneath it and muscle. If you grab muscle you're going to cause a lot of pain. What you can do if you're a bit concerned, you can go ahead and grab the actual skin, just do a basic bicep curl. There we go, and down again. If you'd actually grabbed muscle, the skin would have pulled away. We just simply grab the skin, take the skin fold calipers on that point there, take a hand away, get a reading off the front here for today. Simon's bicep skin fold is three mils, and then simply release it, okay? I always just give it a bit of a rub because it actually makes it feel a little bit better. That's the skin fold measure. The tricep, if we turn Simon around, Again, we can actually see definition in Simon's tricep here, and we've actually got that cross right in the middle of the uh, where we want to take the skin fold. Same deal, we're taking it down the actual parallel, or a parallel to the tricep, but also parallel to the, uh, the humerus. We go ahead and grab that skin fold right on where the cross is, take the caliper, put the calipers on, just do a quick bicep curl for me, Simon, just halfway, that's it, and down, okay, and then we take the measure, which is 5.2. Take it off. Give it a rub and we're all done for that one there. Okay, moving on. We're going to do Simon's uh, suprailiac skin fold. Now the suprailiac is located on the, it's actually the, the, the top of the actual bone on the hip, just down the, around, around the waist. When we go ahead and take this particular girth measurement, we are going to go ahead and obviously inform the client that we're going to be taking a girth measurement around the actual uh, waist region. What we need to do is sometimes you may need to ask the client to bring their pants down just a little bit so you can get good access to the superiliac. Now we can see the superiliac here because we have a line of muscle that sits on the top there. It's also very easy to palpate the actual superiliac. So I can find Simon's superiliac quite easily there. For the male superiliac, the male superiliac is roughly, or well, it is 10 mils above the iliac crest. So I simply would take my tape measure, find the top of the iliac crest, and I'm going to make a mark 10 mils or one centimetre above the iliac crest. 
When we go ahead and take the Iliac Crest skin fold, we simply go ahead and grab above it like so. The female Iliac Crest skin fold is 30 mils above the Iliac Crest. So for Simon, we've got it 10 mils, the female is 30 mils above. Okay, we want to make sure that we take the skin fold in the same line as the actual Iliac Crest. So where that mark is, we simply grab the skin fold, apply the calipers, take the reading, which is four, and then release and rub off. Okay. The next one we're going to do is the subscapula. The subscapula skin fold is on the back of the client. So what we'll get do, uh, Simon to do for us today is to actually take his shirt off and have his back, back, back facing towards us. Now keeping in mind when we are going ahead and doing skin folds, you have to make sure that the client is very comfortable with having these taken. Um, because this is an instructional video, we've got Simon to take his shirt off. For all, just about all of your clients, it's very unlikely that you'll ask your clients to take their shirt off for you. Um, what you can normally do is simply raise the shirt up, find the site and take the measurement. Okay, what we're looking for here, the subscapula, as the name implies, it is sub or underneath the actual scapula bone. So what we've got to try and do is find Simon's scapula. A couple of ways that we can do that, we can simply palpate and find what we call the inferior angle of the actual scapula. And we can actually find it, so Simon's scapula goes along here and then comes down and underneath, and that's the inferior angle of the actual scapula. Now, what we need to do is we need to measure 10 mils below that particular point, and that will locate our skin fold. So 10 mils below, which is just there. And once we've got that mark made, position ourselves so we're comfortable. So I'll move myself across. And again, we want to sort of go at the same angle as that inferior angle of the actual scapula. Grab the skin fold. Take the measurement, which today is 7.6, and then take it off and rub off just like so. Okay, the next skin fold that we're going to take is the mid abdominal. After the mid abdominal, we'll do the mid thigh and also the calf. Now, the mid abdominal uh, skin fold measurement, all we simply have to do is find the umbilicus, which is not difficult on anyone, and it is roughly 30 mils across from the umbilicus. So, taking our tape measure, 30 mils or 3 centimetres, make the mark just like so. Now, when we're going ahead and doing the uh, mid-abdominal skin fold, it's important to keep in mind that, it, depending on the, type, the, the, the size of the client that you're actually doing and the way the body fat is distribu distributed, it may be easier to take either a horizontal or a vertical skin fold. Procedures do say to take a horizontal skin fold, so we'll do that today because Simon's very lean. So what we're going to do is simply on that point there, we'll take the skin fold, Try and get a good grip, come up and underneath, take the actual skin fold right there. So for Simon today, it's uh, 22.6, and then we just simply release it off. So that is your mid abdominal. Now for the mid thigh, what we're going to do, because we have the mark on Simon's leg previously from his girth measurement for his mid thigh, on the front here, so that's the midpoint between the iliac crest and the top of the patella. All we're simply going to do now is make sure, just get you to angle yourself back this way Simon, we want to make sure that that's pretty much in the middle of his actual thigh, and I might just make it there because that's a little bit more medial to the middle of his thigh. The thigh can be very difficult to take skin folds on, particularly in females. Females have a tendency to put more body fat on their hips and their thighs, and it can be quite difficult to get a skin fold measurement here. If you do find it hard to do this actual skin fold on clients, do not bother with it. It's not worth the pain that it actually can, can cause. Okay, so for Simon today, all we're simply going to do, we've got our skin fold there. We're simply going to pinch off the skin. Simon's got nice lean legs, so it's not difficult to actually pinch the skin off. Simply go ahead. Take the skin fold, today it's seven, okay, and then rubbing off just like so. The final skin fold that we're going to do today is the calf. Now, again, the same rules apply to our girth measurements for the calf as they do for the skin folds. We already have a 
half or a mid a midpoint for uh, for Simon's uh, calf here. So what we're going to do, because it's on the other side here, we actually take this the um, the skin fold measure on the lateral surface of the actual of the um, of the calf muscle. So what we're going to do, just use a tape measure, wrap the tape measure around, ensure that it is horizontal when we take it. We take it on this inside surface of the actual calf there. Put our cross on the actual on, 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 the, on the skin fold side where we want to take it. We're taking again a, a vertical um, skin fold, simply grabbing the skin fold like so, taking the skin fold, taking the, re the reading of 5.2, and then releasing and rubbing off. And that wraps up all of our skin fold measurements for our instructor course.